The 19-year-old witness entered the courtroom with an interpreter before sitting behind a large white sheet that shielded her from the view of Ibrahim Ali, the man accused of killing her close friend. Ali could see her via computer monitor. She testified in Mandarin. The witness told the court she knew the victim for about 11 months. The pair went to Moscroft Secondary School together in Burnaby and they were in a summer school program together in the summer of 2017. She described the victim as a teenager who loved watching cartoons and playing games. She said the two of them would study, go to the park, go to the library and go shopping together. They'd even hang out at Burnaby Central Park. She said to her knowledge, the victim didn't drink, do drugs, go to parties or have a boyfriend. And the pair of them always had to be home before dark. Now she said she last saw the victim at school on July 18th, 2017. There was a fire drill, so they met up at the park. Uh, so we at the school playground. She took a few short videos of the victim. Those clips were reviewed in court today and entered as exhibits. Now, the victim went missing later that night. Her body was found in Burnaby Central Park in the early hours of July 19th. Officers who have testified in this case say there was a pair of headphones found not far away from her body. Now today the witness did testify that the victim did enjoy going for walks and listening to music with headphones on. In the Crown's case, they say the victim was passing through Burnaby Central Park, likely with headphones in when she was grabbed and dragged into the woods where she was raped and strangled to death. Ibrahim Ali has been charged with first degree murder in this case. The Crown says his DNA was found at the crime scene. Now the witness is expected to continue her testimony tomorrow and the defense will have an opportunity to cross-examine her. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.